There is an action on IFT that I think every user should add to their toolkit. It's a way to create applets that don't run instantly. They have a delayed action. I'm Drea from the IFT team, and I'll show you how it works. Whenever IFT applets run, the action happens instantaneously. The trigger sets off the action as soon as the endpoints in the code meet. Using if delay webhooks, you can create a delayed action. All you need to know is how to copy and paste. This is a game changer. Instead of creating one applet that runs instantly, you can create two applets. The first one that runs instantly and a second one that runs a certain amount of time after the first. The first applet will send a web request to the if delay server. If delay is an open source project developed and maintained by a third party. It's hosted on their private server and free for anyone to use. You enter at your own risk, as it comes with no warranty from IFT. On the IFT delay server, web requests are held for a certain amount of time. After the designated time frame is over, then a new web request triggers a second applet on IFT, which performs the final action. For this first example, I'll create an automation that will turn off my LifeX smart lights after 30 minutes. This is a helpful applet that pairs with another applet that turns on my LifeX lights whenever my Wisecam detects motion. This way, the lights will go off automatically after some time until new motion is detected. The first applet will be triggered when motion is detected by the Wisecam device. For the action, select webhooks, make a web request, and add the URL. You can copy and paste the URL from the Help Center article on IFT. The link to the article is in the video description. Replace event name with your webhooks event name. This is up to you and can relate to the function of your applet or be totally random. I'm going to call my webhooks event name light delay. Replace delay in minutes with your delay in minutes. I'll type 30 here to specify 30 minutes. Replace webhooks key with your webhooks key. You can find your webhooks key by heading to the webhooks service page on IFT and clicking documentation. The end result should look something like this. The other sections for this action can be left as default. After the first applet is finished, you need to create a second applet for every delayed action sent as a web request to if delay. I made an applet that has one delayed action, so I need to make one more applet. For the trigger, I'll add the webhook service. The trigger will be receive a web request. Enter the event name specified in the first applet's webhook. In this case, the event name was light delay. If delay works with multi action applets too. For example, I'll be creating a WordPress applet that is triggered whenever I add a new blog to my website. I want this content to be posted on social media automatically. However, I prefer that the social media posts do not go out at the same time. So I will create delayed actions using webhooks. I'll need to include ingredients in the webhook. So the social media posts contain information from the WordPress trigger. First, I will create an applet with the WordPress trigger. This applet will fire whenever I post a new blog on WordPress. For a multi-action applet, it's important to note that you can also add non-webhooks actions in addition to the webhooks actions, or even add additional delayed actions by following the same steps. I want to share my blogs on Discord, Twitter, Facebook pages, and Reddit. My applet will have four actions. I want to send the blog post on Discord immediately after it gets published on WordPress. So my first action is to send a message on Discord. Then I need to add three webhooks actions. The webhooks actions will send a web request to the if delay server. For this action, select webhooks make a web request and add the URL. Copy and paste the URL from the Help Center article on IFT. 
The link to the article is in the video description. Replace event name with your webhooks event name. The event name is up to you and can be anything. Just make sure it's unique to other if delay event names that you've already created. I'm going to call my first webhooks event name Procrastinaplet Twitter. Every delayed action will need a unique event name. In the end, I'll have three different links, one for every delayed action. Replace delay in minutes with your delay in minutes. I'll type 15 here to specify 15 minutes. The Twitter action will happen 15 minutes after the WordPress trigger. I want all my posts to go out at different times, so I'll make every time frame different in each link. The Facebook Pages action will fire 30 minutes afterwards, so I'll write 30. The Reddit action will fire one day after the WordPress blog is published, so I'll write 1,000. 440 for 1,440 minutes. Replace webhooks key with your webhooks key. You can find your webhooks key by going to the webhook service page and clicking documentation. The webhooks key will be the same for every link because all of these applets are being built on the same ift account. In the end, we'll have three webhooks links that look something like this. I want the social media posts to have information about the WordPress blog. So I'll include ingredients from the trigger in the webhooks. You can include up to three ingredients from the trigger or queries of the first applet. The specific things that you need to copy and paste into these fields can be found in the help article linked in the video description. Change the method of the webhooks action to post, the content type to application, and the body to this, which we're going to copy and paste. Replace the ingredients in the body with ingredients from the WordPress trigger. Feel free to include less than three ingredients. After the trigger applet is completed, you need to create an applet for every delayed action that was sent as a web request to if delay. I'm building an automation that has three delayed actions which happen at three separate times. So I need to make three more applets, one for each delayed action. For the trigger, I'll add the webhook service. The trigger will be receive a web request. Enter the event name specified in the first applets webhook. Then, select the social media service as your action. You can add information from the WordPress trigger by inserting ingredients that were sent with the webhook. I made delayed actions that happen at separate times for Twitter, Facebook pages, and Reddit. So in the end, I'll have four applets total. One applet with the WordPress trigger, plus three applets with the delayed social media actions. Check out our other tutorial videos to learn how you can leverage your text tools to do more using IFT. At IFT, we think everything works better together.